All right, gonna address a really quick common problem with a very easy fix in Descript. Do you ever import two different people speaking and then you listen back in Descript and they're overlapping each other like this? What does that look like? What's it the difference? It starts with the pitch. So what happens sometimes is either one person starts recording slightly later than the other, but then Descript will line them both up from the beginning of the recording. But of course, if one person started 10 seconds later, then everybody is 10 seconds off. It can also happen with some of the web services when you get what's called drift, which is when the recording that is happening on each end with a service like Riverside or Squadcast or Zencaster, sometimes you get a little bit of drift where the recording is a little bit out of time and it will sound like this overlapping. So it's really easy to fix in this is I'm in the classic version of Descript. You simply jump into the sequences folder, click the sequence, and then you get a visual representation for who those. is speaking where. And if you zoom in, we can clearly see that these two voices are overlapping here because this is a timeline. It's sequential. So we want to make sure that when one ends, the next one begins and they don't overlap. So here's how it sounds now. Like what's it the difference? It starts with the pitch. Whoops. So what we're going to do literally is just grab this select tool and slide this down. What's the difference? It starts with the pitch. And you teach this. It's just that simple. 99 times out of 100, one move will sync up the entire episode. Sometimes with Drift, I know it's not as common these days, but a few years ago with some of the early services like Zencaster, they would constantly drift in and out of time. So you would have to do another adjustment and another adjustment sort of every two or three minutes. But those days are hopefully behind us and these recordings are pretty solid now. Now another thing you can do for this is fix a little bit of crosstalk here. So we have an agreement from Kevin, but it's in the middle of this sentence. You can hear it. Someone tries to right. come and steal them. So. so what we're going to do is we're going to grab the blade tool. We're going to slice both sides and we're also going to slice this just to sort of clear out some space. Then go back from the slice tool to the select tool, and I'm just going to slide this down. I'm going to steal them. So, right. uh, so, so if you don't want that agreement, you simply delete it. And if you want to move it to an open spot, which is what we do as post producers, we're constantly moving agreements and you know any sort of comment or mm hmm that's going on in the background. We either delete it or we move it to an open spot so it doesn't conflict with the existing voice. But all this is done in the sequence window. It's super easy once you jump in. You just use the blade to cut things and the select tool to move things around and you can fix ugly crosstalk really easily and then just jump back into your text and it will sound good. What's the difference? It starts with the pitch. So that's how you fix out of sync crosstalk issues in Descript in the classic version.